King Solomon was a very wise man. When he spoke, people sat up and listened. They didn't always do as he said, but at least they'd been advised, or shall we say, exposed. In Proverbs chapter 17, verse 17, Solomon talks about friends, and he says, A friend loveth at all times. Don't miss the word all. My guess is that, like myself, you've had friends, but when things went sour, they went south. You couldn't find them for the dust they left behind. The prodigal son had the very same experience because we read that he wasted his substance with riotous living. That is, he spent all his money on his so-called friends. The next thing we read is that he would have fain filled his belly with husks from the swine that the swine didn't eat, Luke 15. Why on earth would a good Jewish boy eat with the pigs of all animals? Well, because the Bible tells us no man gave unto him. In other words, he had no friends, he had no food. He had good friends when he had a full wallet, but he had no friends when it was flat. Come to think of it, I've had friends like that. When things were going well, they hung with me. When I was flat on my back, you couldn't find them, couldn't see them. Not because I was down and out, but they just disappeared with my last dollar. Someone has put it this way. When your troubles come to your soul to try, you love a friend just who stands by. Perhaps there's nothing he can do. The thing is strictly up to you. For there are troubles all your own, and paths the soul must tread alone. Bad times when love can't smooth the road, nor friendship lift the heavy load. But just to feel you have a friend who will stand by until the end, whose sympathy, though, through all endures, whose warm hand clasp is always yours. It helps somehow to pull you through, although there's nothing he can do. And so with fervent heart we cry, God bless the friend who just stands by. Which makes me ask, how faithful a friend am I to those who count on me? It can work both ways, you know, and so I pray for myself, first of all, that I'll be loyal and true to anyone who trusts me. And if I do that, chances are they'll return the favor. Jesus is that kind of a friend to me, one who sticks closer than a brother. As a matter of fact, Jesus wants to be your friend. Ask him into your heart. Confess your sins to him. Ask him to forgive your sins. And then thank him and live for him the best you can. He's my friend. And I pray that you'll take him to be your friend too. So Heavenly Father, thank you for Jesus who sticketh closer than a brother. And I pray there'll be many that'll open their heart to the Savior. And they'll have you as their friend too. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.